we unplugged it and the relay came out with four pins on it. Normally, two of them are positively charged. Next, use an electric pen to test. One, two, well, there is no problem with positive electricity. Is this relay broken? Next, I will pull out one from the fuse box. The models of these relays are the same, so we just pull out one and replace it, which is equivalent to changing the position. Okay, plug it in. Next, let's get in the car and press the horn to see if it will sound or not. It seems to have encountered a bottleneck, but it doesn't matter. Let's change to a sketch to find out the reason. Just now we tested the fuse, and there is no problem. We also tested the relay, and the two terminals are also positively charged. Then we switched the position of the relay with other relays, indicating that there is no problem with the magnetic switch and the coil. Then there is the problem is either the horn switch or the horn itself. Now let's check the speaker itself first. It's very simple. 